Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about something that actually came out last week. And I was waiting because I was expecting kind of some news about something else this week. And it was not news that I was I thought it was going to go in. So I was like expecting some kind of Sony announcement this week. And, uh, and it surprised me of what they announced. Uh, and that is the Jared Leto Morbius thing. Uh, but before we get into that, we're going to talk about the Silk movie in development. Because last week I was like, oh, I don't know if this is enough to make a video on. It's just something that's in development. And sometimes things in development don't get made. And, you know, we see this a lot with Warner Brothers, how they announce things and say like, oh, this is in development. Or Star Wars, like, oh, we have nine films in development. You know, the odd of all nine of those films being made obviously is very slim so they always like to you know get a couple writers get a couple people together see what ideas they can come up with see what ideas work and what stick and then they move forward with those projects if they find the right director and cast and so forth so just announcing a silk movie isn't enough for me to where i was like oh i'll make a video on it but with the addition of morbius now i'm like all right well now we can talk about this both in one video and talk about how the web of venom universe is expanding and i'm going to call it the web of venom universe because they keep saying the spider-man centric villain universe or whatever and it gets really wordy and really you know and, and kind of confusing because because as far as I know, Spider-Man isn't going to be in this universe. Uh, it could be, you know, maybe Miles Morales might end up in this universe in a live action format at some point. Or maybe they'll do Silk and she'll be like the Spider-Man of this universe. Uh, but to me, I feel like Venom should be. It's like, all right, you have Venom. Like, he should be the, the one who's at the center of this universe. He's the first film you're starting with. He's your Iron Man in a way. He should be the one you kind of, you know rally everyone else around and it seems like that's what they're doing with the addition of morbius but with silk i'm not so sure so we'll see how that fits into the big plan obviously uh silver and black is still on hold right now it's not going to make its a re original release date which was going to be february of 2019 it looks like it's not going to hit that it's getting rewritten for like the third or fourth time so it's it's not moving forward as of right now i mean they're still developing it you know trying to work on it they have a director attached but even that isn't moving uh, as smoothly as they probably hope it would uh, so with Silk, another one I'm kind of interested, uh, but one thing I didn't realize was that Silk or the character Cindy Moon has already appeared in the MCU. Uh, she's actually one of the characters in Spider-Man Homecoming, which Amy Pascal, who's, you know, the one producing this and she works at Sony and she was like had a step down or something and then created her own like you know film company kind of like what Jeff Johns is doing a little bit right now only she was you know higher up at Sony than Jeff was he was CCO and you know working his way that way um but so in a similar kind of move though she's now head of this production company and she's producing a lot of movies coming out like uh the girl in the spider's web um and then also silver and black so uh and then venom of course so she's announcing you know that sony's developing this silk movie but cindy moon has already appeared in uh, spider-man homecoming and she was played by tiffany espenson and i guess she was on the decathlon team with peter parker and all those people when they went to uh, washington dc and stuff so she was already in the background there and apparently she also appears on the bus sequence from Infinity War when Peter Parker has to like jump out of the bus. Um, so I didn't realize that. She didn't like stand out to me. Um, and if they mentioned her name was Cindy Moon, I completely missed it. Uh, I am not a huge fan of Spider-Man Homecoming and this is one of the reasons is because they just name all the characters random things just to kind of have those breadcrumbs and claim them as their characters it feels like. Uh, but it didn't, you know, I, so I don't know. I, it, it throws a little bit of a wrinkle in the, you know, uh, more confusing element of, well, you know, Venom, you know, Sp Sony Spider-Man and, you know, Spider-Man Marvel Universe. It's like, it just throws another, you know, uh, wrinkle in that, unfortunately. Um, but so we don't know if Tiffany's going to reprise her role, if she's going to lead the movie. You know, they'll probably cast a different actress. The story behind Silk, who was created by Dan Slott and Humberto Ramos in the pages of Amazing Spider-Man, she's a Korean-American superhero, and she was bitten by the same spider that Peter Parker was bitten on, but this, like, weird guy uh, named Ezekiel, like, took her and put her in a bunker, and she's been living in this, like, bunker for, like, you know, all these years that Spider-Man has been running around, and he's been doing it to protect her because she has, like, this ultimate, like, uh, radiation, th like, this, she radiates some kind of energy that these spider creatures from other realms want to feed on. And they, that's what Spider-Verse, the storyline from the comic book, is all about, is these beings trying to eat and kill all the spider people from every dimension. And so, uh, you know, Ezekiel wanted to protect her because she could lead people or these creatures right to Peter Parker and, and this world in general and put this world at risk. So I guess he hid her or something like that. I remember kind of this story, but not, not fully. Uh, so if you know more and, and I'm getting something wrong, let me know down in the comments. But so, yeah, so Silk Movie in development and then now confirmed by Jared Leto this morning with a post on his Instagram 
uh, he is going to be stepping in the role of Morbius with the uh, director Daniel Espinosa, who is going to direct it. And he directed the movie Life last year, or, or two years ago, whatever that came out. And a lot of people were speculating on, you know, Life, and is that going to be like a tie-in? Is that a prequel to Venom? Um, you know, it's this creature in space, you know, had a great cast. Um, so I guess with his workings with Sony was like, hey, I kind of do want to play in this universe maybe, and maybe he was just a good fit for them because they already had a working relationship with them. Uh, and then they also got the writers who worked on the new reboot of Lost in Space on Netflix to be the ones on this. And they already have all their producers lined up, they have their writers, they have their star lined up now, um, and this is, you know, Cre uh, character created by Roy Thomas and Gil Kane in Amazing Spider-Man 101, which was like right after Stan Lee stopped writing Spider-Man. These guys came in to take over the book, and their first one of their first creations was Morbius, the living vampire. Uh, Dr. Michael Morbius, who uh, was a scientist, he had a rare disease. He decided he wanted to try to cure it. Uh, like most Spider-Man villains, like the lizard, he wanted to, you know, grow a new arm or whatever. Um, so he has a rare blood disease. He tries to cure himself, turns himself into something that's vampire-like. He's not really a vampire, but he's kind of like a vampire, and he does need to feed on blood to survive. So it's another anti-hero, um, another, you know, person like Venom in a way in this universe. Someone who started off strictly as a villain and then ultimately became kind of an anti-hero and a tragic character as well. Even in the Dan Slott run, who we talked about with uh, Cindy Moon and stuff, uh, Dan Slott brought Morbius in as a, a member of the think tank over at Horizon Labs. And he was like the mysterious sixth member of the group. And uh, it was pretty cool. And I like the character. And remember, if you guys, if you guys go back and watch my um, Evil Within discussion where uh, Venom and Morbius teamed up uh, to fight the Demogoblin in San Francisco, uh, that was, uh, I actually really liked their dynamic. And I was saying in that episode, man, I hope these guys end up on screen together sooner than later. So maybe that's what this is. Now, as far as Jared Leto being cast, I'm not super excited about that. I'm not anti Jared Leto or anything. I think he's a great actor and he's been in a lot of great stuff. He's Academy Award winner, if I'm not mistaken, um, or, you know, been up for a lot of awards at least. Um, but uh, he's, he's a great actor. He's a great singer. I like his band. But I'm not so sure. I guess I just had a different person in mind uh, when I thought of Morbius. Uh, Michael Morbius, I just kind of assumed, maybe because of the 90s animated series, that he was more Romanian, uh, had a little bit more, um, not so much a white guy, <laughs> I guess, uh, but not a strictly white guy, I guess I should say. I always pictured Michael Morbius as Vincent Perez, the guy who played the second crow, um, and he also played... Um, uh, Lestat or someone in the, or maybe it wasn't Lestat, but he played someone in uh, in the Queen of the Damned movie. He was one of the vampires in that movie too. And maybe because of that exposure to him uh, in those kind of roles and with his voice, I thought, oh man, he would be great as a Michael Morbius. I know he's not like maybe leading land um, leading man material nowadays. He's, uh, I think, 54 years old, uh, but uh, I still think he's a good actor. And I've seen him in a couple stuff recently, so he's still acting. And it would have been cool to see someone like that you know uh for this role but uh, you know the these studios they need a big actor they need someone who's hot right now or at least people will talk about and you know get news articles on so that's what's happening here so i understand why they're doing it uh but i feel like there could have been maybe a better actor out there for michael morbius but uh, i'm not 100 percent against this either i'm not going to judge it right now i'm going to see footage i want to see a trailer one day uh, and i want to see if this movie even moves forward because silver and black has a director and even though it didn't have stars it was moving forward and then it just halted so we'll see if this moves forward too and plus a lot of this is going to bank on Venom. And speaking of Venom, we will talk about San Diego Comic-Con and Venom actually appearing there in the next episode. So make sure you're subscribed so you tune into that. But these, let me know what you think of Silk and Morbius down in the comments below. What do you think of Jared Leto? What do you think of the Silk movie? I want to hear your comments so we can just, you know, continue the discussion down below. And once again, I can't talk. I'm having a rough week. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching my videos. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.